Hi everybody, um, I'm, I just wanted to do this, uh, presentation even though I'm sick, so, um, here it is, um, Missions Reality is what they call our missions trip, it's part of our class, um, so we go, they, they used to have, uh, way back when, uh, missionaries come in and teach us for 10 hours for the second year class, but they just, some of the leadership decided that it'd be better if we uh, went on missions trip ourselves, missions trips ourselves, so they set it up. So we'll, so every second year student goes on a missions trip for ten days, and uh, it is a part of our curriculum. So um, that's pretty cool. So every second year student goes on a missions trip. Um, where I'll be going is Canada, and different parts of Canada. We'll be going to Quebec first, and so we'll be doing open air there, so, which is open air evangelism. And so we'll be like handing out tracts and doing um, presentations and stuff. Um, and so uh, that's pretty cool. I've done that sort of thing in New York City before, and so I'm I'm comfortable with doing that. Um, the next place in Canada that we'll be going is Sherbrooke, and that's where the um, the BI is the Word of Life Bible Institute in Canada is. They actually have two Bible Institutes. Um, they have one English speaking one and one French speaking one. And so we'll, I believe we'll be going to the English speaking one. So that will be pretty cool. And that's what we'll be doing in Sherbrooke. At some point along the journey, we'll be working in schools and it, with the elderly. So um, we'll be doing that. Um, I. Our final stop on our journey is Montreal, so um, I'm not sure exactly what we'll be doing on the trip. I know we'll be doing um, skits and singing and a bunch of other things, um, so I'm really excited to just get into doing skits and singing and sharing the gospel up there, and um, so I'm really looking forward to just doing all this stuff. Um, the major religion in Canada is um, Catholic. Um, it's either Catholic or no religion at all. They're very closed off to the gospel. They just they don't want to hear it. So it's going to be quite a challenge going up there and uh, sharing the gospel. So I um, I'm looking forward to the challenge. And um, we've got a good team and we're working things through. We've been meeting together. So um, hopefully we'll get everything together and we'll be able to do that. Um, so it's going to be, it's definitely going to be a challenge, but I'm looking forward to it. Um, the cost of my trip is $707. So, um, so far I have $235. And so I'm just, I'm hoping, I'm praying that the Lord will provide the rest of the money for me. Um, any money that's left over after the month, the seven hundred and seven dollars that I raised will go into my summer fund, and I will be using that for summer ministry for essentials. Um, so the main need right now is the seven hundred and seven dollars. So that's what um, I've been praying about is giving is people who a uh, God providing the seven hundred and seven dollars. Um, the reason why I want to go uh, to Canada is. Um, I'm looking into being a missionary as my life, you know, as if it's God's will for me. And so, um, the reason why I want to go on this trip is just to learn if it's God's will for me to be a missionary. If I was to be a missionary, I would, um, I would be going to England. That is where I have a burden for. And England and Canada, their, um, their religions are very much the same. Uh, they're both very Catholic. The cultures are the same. Many, many people from different places and different walks of life. And so, um, it's, they're kind of similar. So that's a reason why I wanted to go to Canada because they're very much alike. Um, and I just, I want to know if being a missionary is God's will for my life and if that's something that's worth pursuing for, um, me and, if that's what I should be doing with my life. Another, a couple other reasons that I'd like to go is, um, I just, um, I just, I, f 
I wanted to share the gospel up there, and it's a real. It's going to be a real challenge, and I'm looking forward to that. And just one of my best friends at the BI, he's uh, from Canada, so I'm looking forward to just seeing more about where he lives. And I know it's been a struggle of his just to witness the people up there. So I'm looking forward to just seeing more about his culture and stuff like that. Um, I'm looking forward to using some skills that I've learned at the BI, um, such as being in evangelism class. We learned about a lot about how to share the gospel and the right terms and um, what, what's best to use. Um, and so at my church that I, I work with, at, during the school year um, I work with a lot of kids so that will be good to use on the trip I've learned a lot about myself through working with the kids and if I have patience or not and stuff like that so that will be good and uh, a lot, there's a lot of different kinds of people at the church that I work with at good school so that will be good to use like uh, getting to know people as I have done at the church and so um, that will be good in being social and witnessing to people up in Canada. Um, after the BI year, I'm not really sure what I'll be doing. Um, probably either missionary, colon being a missionary or going to culinary school. So I'm praying about that. Um, the trip is in April. And so um, it's about 10 days and we'll, all the second year students will be going out. So that's... A, a cool thing to be looking forward to. I think I thank everyone for um, praying for me and Trisha as we're doing this and I just I ask you to just keep praying for us as we're raising support and um, talking to people and I pray that you will especially pray for us as we go out in April and I thank you for just keeping us in your prayers. Um, see you later. Bye.